Welcome to the video, and today we're going to be unboxing an LG monitor. Um, the name is quite long, so here it is, and um, let's get started. Now, quick note, this is the sixth video I filmed today. Um, I'm doing kind of like a, not necessarily a series, but I bought a bunch of equipment for the studio, and I'm like behind me. There's some new monitors and new lights and stuff, so check out the other unboxings if you're interested. Um, so, let's get started. I've had four of these in the past. Um, not because they break, but because I was working for a company and these were the ones that I wanted to get and we just needed a lot of monitors. So, I had three of them together and um, I really like these, so I bought one for myself. Oh. Um, they're, these are 4K, 32 inch, um, I think they're IPS monitors, um, or are they VA? I don't know, I don't remember, but, uh, let's get started unboxing. Here we have all the cables and the power brick, and then the monitor stand, which is adjustable in height, which is nice. The monitor leg, piece of foam, I'm going to set this down on the floor real quick, maybe, You gotta be careful when assembling monitors because they're expensive and they're fragile. So um, let's just start assembling this thing and we'll get to the, everything else that came with it later. Um, so I forgot how to do this exactly. There we go. Okay, here's the back of the monitor. Now, um, one of the great things about this one is that it is a USB-C monitor. So you can take a laptop or a computer with USB-C, plug it in, and then the USB ports are kind of like an accessory, like a, like a dongle would be. So you can plug things into the back of it. So for example, in my case, I can plug my, I should be able to, my uh, USB audio interface for my speakers and just plug it into this. So when I plug a MacBook Pro into it, um, it sends signal to this, power to the laptop, and signal to my interface. That is what's cool about this. Now there is DisplayPort in, which I think does the USB as, as well. And then there is HD, two HDMI imports, inputs, a headphone jack, and then the DC power input. Here's the monitor stand, which, which is height adjustable. And, one second. It can also be rotated 90 degrees, I believe. I thought it did. Woo! Let's get it on first. This is vase mount. Underneath that, um, easy. And then the bottom leg, which is at a curve this and then this is nice because my my interface can go kind of in the middle and not off to the side so my desk is symmetrical um, there's a little screw right there all you do is put this on the bottom like that the bottom of the stand is metal not plastic so it's you know gonna hold up well um, just screw the little screw and I know you can't see it but it's just a thumb screw um, tighten it down pretty tight this thing's never gonna come undone unless you want it to. And um, 
there you go. Now, you lift the whole thing out. And there we have it. A 4K 32 inch monitor. Now, this I believe is um, four to five hundred dollars depending on where you get it and if you get the different um, syncing kind so you can like sync it to your graphics card and stuff. For gaming, I do not game at all so I will not be doing anything like that. It's height adjustable and rotatable. Um, if you pick it up you can you can rotate it all the way around. So say your desk isn't level you can just a 2B level, or if you want to go vertical, you can do that. Now, I believe you can only go vertical one direction. Um, so, just note that. Um, you can't, like, I guess you, maybe you could flip the mount around. Yeah, anyway. Um, so there's the monitor. <sighs> the stand is nice and strong. And the height adjustable is so nice. You can have it real low or real high. You could angle it down and up if you want. You could do that. It's also a map display, so it's um, gonna help with reflections. I think you can see here, here's the soft box. You can see it. Um, it's not perfect, but it's better than glossy. Here's our accessories, power brick, other part of power. And this is nice, it comes with the double, um, dual USB-C port cable, a clip that goes for cable management, a display port cable, and an HDMI cable. I believe all of these are three feet, I think? Or are they six feet? I think they're three feet. Um, I'm gonna use this one, so let's pull it out real quick. And these cables, I again, I've this is the fourth, fifth, the fifth one of these that I've opened and used, um, and uh, I can say that uh, the cables are definitely high quality, which is always good to see, especially because they're included with the product. So it comes with cable ties, and you can unscrew this, unwind this. Let's see how long is this? So there you go. It's like four feet maybe. So longer than a three foot. Yeah, this is probably four feet. Let's see, I'm six, I'm six feet tall. Yeah, uh, four or five feet. Um, it's probably on the tech specs about it. So anyway, um, it also comes with a manual and a Canada product registration. Um, parts list. Oh, it also comes with an unprotected CD. There's owner's manual and all that other stuff on that as well. If you have a CD um, or DVD drive. DVD? CD? What is this? Anyway, probably whatever. CD probably, maybe DVD, I don't know. I don't know. Um, either do I care because I can't even use it. Um, so yeah, um, power brick is nice. It's It can power, I believe, up to like 90 watts, I think, um, through the USB-C port to a computer. So it's a pretty hefty brick. And then power cable. Now the back of it's white, all the accessories are white, the front of it's black. I kind of have a theme going on um, with my stuff, so it's white and black, and then the speakers are white and black, it matches. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Let's move all of this. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about this monitor, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get an answer to you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out. Anyway, that's it. Um, Thanks for watching.